Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular Material Full Tutorial series with live examples. In this tutorial, today we'll learn how to use Angular Mat Card. Card is a very, very important and a basic element in today's modern responsive web applications. Bootstrap has cards, so does Angular Material. So in today's episode, we will learn how to use Angular Material card to, to beautify our content, our applications. Before we get started with our practical, friends, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Also, if you have not seen the previous tutorials, I request you to kindly go through them so you can learn all about Angular Material. Let's get started with practical now. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to use Angular buttons, Angular material buttons. So that was this tutorial. Now, we in this particular today's tutorial, we will learn all about Angular material card. So I have started my application using ng-serve and let's get started. All right, so for the first thing we should do is import our mat card module. So if you see here, mat card module, you need to import that in the modules. As a best practice, what we should do is import all the required material modules into one single module and then import that here in our app module. Alternatively, if you don't want to do that, you can import just the mat card module. This is also okay if you just want to use only the mat card but rarely will be the time when you use only one module so it's always a good practice to create a single modular file and include that in our app module.ts so our demo material module has all the required modules that we need here in this case it is mat card module so now that we have imported it we, let's go ahead and start using it. So I'll go to our app component.html and then I'm going to include our mat card module and let's start using it right away. So for that, the tag we need to type is the attribute mat card since we have already imported the mat card module. So here I'll write hello world. Just a simple basic card. So we see this card is 100% design and we can see that our content is displayed here. Now let's jazzify it a little bit. So mat card can take multiple head tags inside it. For example, mat card header. So this way we can specify the header and we can call it tutorials. So this way we are adding a header section to our mat card. So we see here we have added our mat card. Now similarly, we need to group. So we will use mat card content. So this is where we define the content that goes inside the mat card. So this is our title. This is our body section. Now, similarly, we can add multiple other things, sections like mat card actions here you can specify the button that we learned in previous example i'll call it share and i'll call it comment so we see now this mat card has a header it has body and it has the but action buttons at the footer that we want to use so that is used based on the mat card actions. So this is the basic structure of any material card that you see. You can also include other things. For example, we can add title and we can add subtitle inside the header. So we will add that now. We can add mat card title. I'm going to add this here. All right, so to make it much readable, 
I'm going to put it and arrange it a little bit so it's easy for you to see and understand. So this is our basic structure of any material card. All the content goes inside material cards. You can have any number of material cards in a particular page. There is no restriction of how many cards you want to use. We can also apply custom styling if you want. You can give your class name and give your styling accordingly. Similarly, you, for each of these attributes, you can give custom styling. So we can see here now this is our mat card. It says welcome to our tutorials and we have our content. Now looks like there is some styling that gets that's got applied. Let me get rid of that real quick. All right, so I've included that and I just want to make sure that our angular JSON file does not have any styles or it has one, but that's okay. We are not using it. All right, so this is good. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, so this is our basic mat card component. So it has a title, it has content, it has action buttons. Now we can style up a little bit quickly and we can call this color equal to primary to suit our layout and we can say accent. So that way we can specify what type of what type of color buttons do we want. So this is a very basic implementation. Uh, there are there can be much much more customizations that we can do but that's for some other uh, time but this is the basic that you sh should know to get started. Try this out. Let me know if you have any questions. And I will be happy to help you. So you can give, again, you can use your raised button. And this is how a basic mat card looks like with a header, with content, with action buttons. To, just to recap, we need to include mat card module in our app module and then use mat card. To give heading, we'll use mat card header. Content is grouped inside mat card act content. And finally, we can add some action buttons to our mat card. We will learn more about it in detail, but let's keep building on it. In the previous tutorial, we learned about angular material buttons. Now, in this tutorial, we learned about Angular Material Cards and stay tuned for more. This is a full tutorial series on Angular Material. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I will see you in the other episode. But friends, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much for joining.